by the devil. And I'm tired of white people being called devils. I'm a man. I'm a human being. Okay? I'm tired of white people being stereotyped. I'm not a damn stereotype. I am a human being. White people racist all day long. You read it. You hear about it. White people racist. Racist. White supremacy. White privilege. Why? Why do y'all so mean to white people? Why? It hurts so bad. It hurts me. I mean, did, did we earn that title or something? How, how, what, what'd we do to get that? <clears throat> I've heard black people call white people devils. It because of slavery? Because we uh, committed genocide around the whole entire globe? For 500 years? What is it? Colonialization? Enslaving the Africans, the continuation of white supremacy, because, you know, they say that the new generation, the young people, they ain't racist. They're going to fix this thing. The young people today, they ain't got no racism. Bullshit. You raise them. Of course, they're fucking racist. White people raise kids. White people are just as racist today as they used to be. Sadly, jump online. Look at what the fucking kids are saying. They're racist as fuck. I hate to say it. Not all of them, but too fucking many of them spewing overt, horrible things online. Yes, your children are racist because our culture is still racist. It might They might use different technology. It might be a different culture. It might be more covert. It's not as overt. But hell, they're still lynching black people. Look what happened in Buffalo. They're 18 years old. Don't tell me fucking young people are not racist. You're full of shit. People call us devils, not many, but people call white people devils for a fucking reason. Because of our behavior, because of our culture, because of our inability to fix our fucking racism and our racist system. That's why we get called devils, folks. And it's sad. It's truly, truly sad. We've ruined our reputation. White people, because of white supremacy, because of our love and our worship and our affection and the protection that we continue for white supremacy. I don't protect white supremacy. Yeah, you do. You do it in three ways. You either do it through silence, aggressive silence. What did you do? What did you, what did you say? Did you talk about what happened in Buffalo, New York, or did you ignore it? Are you talking about racism? To your white friends, your white coworkers, your white family? Are you talking about our disease of white supremacy to the people, the white people around you? Are you doing that? No, you're probably sitting in silence like the rest of white America. Not all of us, but the majority of us. We either sit in silence, we set, we, we, we spew denial, we, we gaslight black and brown folks and indigenous people. We project it back onto them rather than take responsibility. And then we just ate up with apathy. We believe we're superior. We believe we're entitled. No, that's devilish behavior. Stop. We're humans. You don't need to be a fucking idiot. All right. You, you need to have some fucking humanity. Remember one thing, white people, the greatest resource on earth is love. And it's the most seldom ever used. Imagine what would happen if white people actually used love instead of racism. Racism is what our culture is. It's what our system is, but it doesn't have to be what you are. I'm not racist. I'm not asking you to be not racist. I'm asking you to be anti-racist. You can't fix racism by saying and being not racist. You have to be anti-racist. You have to do something. You have to at least acknowledge it. Then you got to take action, not inaction, action, some form of action, accountability. People have to have accountability. Racists don't need to be coddled. Racism, inequality, discrimination, all that shit. CRT, we need CRT, but you can't coddle racists. You got to hold them accountable, call them out and educate. 
How many white people are trying to not educate? How many white people are trying to hide racism from their kids? That's a sick mind. And another example of just how racist we are. We want to hide it from our own children. That's why they're so fucking racist. We're teaching it to them by denying it. Let them learn from it. Anti-racism should be taught to every single kid in school. But that's not what we do. So anyhow, once again, use love. Find some humanity. Care about your brothers and sisters that are not white. Be anti-racist. Being not racist is not enough. Good luck.